Hello and welcome to Jazz Guitar Lessons Berlin. I'm Tina Jekyll and today I'm going to talk about the tune The Days of Wine and Roses. I'm going to demonstrate some chords that you can use for duo comping and I'm also going to talk about an analysis of the chords. So the tune is in F major and it starts with a tonic chord, the F major 7. And if we keep that A as a top note for the next two chords, that sounds really nice. And you already figured out the D7 is a dominant 7th chord on the 6th degree of the scale. It becomes a secondary dominant that wants to go to G minor or that leads to G minor. And the E flat is just like a chromatically moving chord into the D7 and at the same time it's a 4 minor chord. So in bar 5 there's the 2 chord G minor 7 and we can still leave the A as a top note which is beautiful. And then again in bar 7 and 8 a 4 minor chord and we can still keep the A as a top note. bar 9 to 12 we have those four chords so the a minor 7 replaces the one chord it's a good idea to play like really a tonic sound over that chord and then the d minor 7 6 chord 2 5 so you can handle those four bars just like a 1, 6, 2, 5 in F major. So the next three chords are basically a 2, 5, 1 going to D minor, going to the minor parallel of F major, right? And you can think about that A7 chord as a secondary dominant leading to D minor and that's why there is that E half diminished chord. Add a little bit more of a movement to the D minor 7 9 chord. You could also be playing D minor 7 9, G7. And the tune leads back to the tonic. Then the song repeats the first eight bars. Then we are back into A minor 7. Write our tonic sound D minor 7. And then we have that chord here. A B minor 7 flat 5 chord so we could think about it as a raised 4 chord so this would be F major and on the raised 4 <laughs> we would have that half diminished chord right going to a, another secondary dominant back to the A minor 7 which is again substituting for the one chord. So that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Don't forget to follow me on my Insta story if you want to have some background information and see you soon. Bye.